Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parker, again. I recorded this video once, and I accidentally stopped it at the end before I could do my little outro. So, I'm going to redo the video. So, we'll start off with the packaging, and then get to the figure. So, first we have the bubble, and the little label, Invisible Iron Man. You have some nice artwork of him with Marvel Legends series. You can see I cut the tape. Then on the back, you have the other figures in the wave. It's Iron Man, Lady Deadpool, Spider UK, Moon Knight, Wolverine, and Maestro. Also, look for each sold separately, so there's two availability. Warning, choking hazard. I don't know how this is a choking hazard. None of the parts come off. Barcode. Car additional support. And on the top, you got a cool picture of the fig. And then you got the uh, picture of the figure, the um, then the little bio with high tech suits and his mind on his mission. Tony Stark armors up as the Invincible Iron Man. It kind of runs high tech suits and his mind on his mission. Tony Stark armors up as the Invincible Iron Man. You yeah, know, I'm used to the retro. <laughs> I've been collecting quite a bit of retro figures recently. So I'm just so used to a rhyme instead of just a bio. So yeah, that's kind of weird. But let's get on to the fig. So the figure is pretty cool. It's pretty basic though. It only uses four colors. It uses red, gold, blue, and gunmetal. We'll start off with the head. The head sculpt is pretty cool. There's a little triangle right there. Nothing on the back except for some nice sculpting. On the front you have gold paint for the faceplate. Huh. Sorry. Gold paint and blue for the eyes. You got some nice gunmetal lines going across the abdomen or no not the abdomen just like the chest piece of the figure there's a blue arc reactor some marbling and then you have gold and gunmetal in the shoulder joint then you have the blade on a blade on his right arm which this is why most people hate this figure you can't remove it but I think it looks cool. And then you got a little mini arc reactor, I think. Surrounded by some gunmetal, gold fingers, and more gunmetal paint. <clears throat> Sorry, then in the palm of his hand, you have gunmetal and blue spot for the repulsor ray. Another, like, kind of mini arc reactor. Surrounded by more gunmetal and more gold fingers. The legs have gold printing at the thigh, at the inside of the thigh. And on the back, there's some more gold paint or surrounding the little double hinged knee, which is gray. Now we're getting to the articulation. He has a ball jointed head. He has shoulder and elbow hinges they can both do the exact same amount of upwards crunch i don't know how to describe it you have um ab crunch goes back pretty well not so well forwards and then you have a ball joint at the leg and double hinge knee and hinge ankle I think they were trying to make it a rocker ankle, but it just doesn't work. I'll get this dude in a quick pose, and then I'll end the video off with that. Alright, now I got Iron Man with his pupil Spider-Man in a quick action pose against Thanos. Which figure? Yes, I do have. I didn't do a review because... Oh, excuse me. Because he didn't have... I got him loose without a box, and he didn't have an else, uh, have his alternate hand. 
So I just thought, why would I make a figure of you of someone I don't even have all the parts of? Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.